Human instincts can be very powerful protectors from harm and danger. Fight or flight is one of those instincts. When natural disasters like earthquakes strike, we instinctively know we cannot fight the ground shaking. So the flight instinct gets our bodies running from the perceived threat before our minds have even registered the danger. Experience from many earthquakes has taught us how unsafe it is to run, despite the strong urge to do just that. While it is unusual in our country to see total buildings collapse, ground shaking can cause parts of a building to crash to the ground. Bricks, broken glass, facades, chimneys are easily jarred loose. Extensive studies have shown that the majority of people killed or injured in this country during earthquakes are killed or injured by falling objects or debris. Imagine if you had allowed your flight instinct to propel you outside with all this debris raining down. We simply must learn to resist the instinct, the strong urge to run. You can teach your mind and train your body not to run. This takes knowing what to do and practice doing it. Again, it usually is not collapsing buildings that kill or injure people in our country during earthquakes. It's falling or flying objects. Because of this reality, you don't want your head to be the high point in the room. If your head is the high point, those falling objects will hit it. The first principle for safety is that as soon as the ground begins to shake in an earthquake, immediately get under or beside something that is sturdy and taller than you are. The second principle for safety is that today, while the ground is steady beneath your feet, identify the safest place to quickly get to within each room of your house. Keep in mind the principle of under or beside when identifying a safe place. For example, under the dining room table is a great choice, provided you are in the dining room. The third principle for safety is practice. Practice quickly getting in the safe places you have identified in each room of your house. Actually get in it. You may feel a little goofy, and that's okay. It may save your life. Have each family member practice getting in the safe places. Again, the instinct to run is very strong and urgent. The best way to counter this instinct is to practice doing the safe thing. Practice trains your body and mind to avoid the dangers created by running. Again, the three principles of safety are get under or beside something that is taller and sturdier than you are, identify safe places in each room of your home, and routinely practice getting in those safe places to train your body and mind to resist the instinct to run. Each new earthquake teaches us things we did not know or understand before. For example, the 1994 Northridge earthquake in Los Angeles taught us the fallacy of standing in doorways during an earthquake. Most people were home during this quake, which happened at 4.31 in the morning. People jumped from their beds and braced themselves in the doorways, only to find the doors swing, sometimes violently as the ground shakes. This resulted in severely smashed and broken fingers as the doors closed. So never choose a doorway as the best place to go. Remember safety principle number one, get under or beside a sturdy object. When the ground begins to shake, drop, drop where you are, do not run, and do not try to go very far. The ground movement simply will not let you. Cover, take cover under a sturdy table and cover the back of your neck or head with one arm. Hold on, hold on to the table leg so that if the table moves during the ground shaking, you can move with it and maintain your cover. If you are in the living room and the ground begins to shake, do not run. Broken glass or unsecured items such as bookcases could topple over and cause injury. So when the ground shakes, instead of running, drop, drop where you are. Even if the dining room is right next to the living room, the dining table is too far away. 
Then take cover. Take cover beside the sofa. If things are falling down, the sofa will catch them. Hold on. Hold on to the leg or edge of the sofa. If it moves in the ground shaking, you will be able to move with it to maintain your safety. Securely anchoring contents throughout your home will remove the threat of injury when the ground begins to shake. If you are driving when the earthquake strikes, you will likely experience the sensation of four simultaneous flat tires. This is actually helpful because it will cause you to pull over, which is what you should do. Try to avoid overpasses and underpasses. If you're in an area that has overhead power lines, wait for someone to tell you that there are no power lines resting on your car before you get out. If you are in a theater or auditorium, remember the principle of under or beside. Get down on the floor between the seats and wait for the shaking to stop. To resist the urge to run, the next time you're at the movies or a play, practice. If you need to, pretend that you dropped something on the floor. If you're in a store when you feel the ground swell and shake, resist the instinct to run. Drop, cover, and hold on. While in your favorite shops, take a minute to figure out a safe place. You'll find that as this becomes a part of your routine, it is very empowering. Fear will be replaced by the confidence that you and your loved ones will keep out of harm's way by quickly moving under or beside things that will give you protection.